Hello again and welcome to another in our continuing series of monthly five-minute fly-the-wing flight maneuver videos. This month it's short field takeoffs. Takeoffs and climbs from runways with obstacles require that you operate the airplane at the limit of its takeoff performance capabilities. It's the existence of the obstacle that makes it a short field takeoff. You must exercise positive and precise control of the airplane attitude and airspeed so that takeoff and climb performance results in the shortest takeoff run as well as the steepest climb angle so you can clear obstacles. Always refer to the POH for power and flap setting airspeed and procedures. Refresh your familiarity with both VX and VY speeds for your make and model of airplane. And keep in mind in some airplanes a deviation of five knots from the recommended speed will result in significant reduction in climb performance. A short field takeoff requires you use the full runway. Holding brakes may not shorten the run, but it'll assure you have full power and engine instruments are in the green before you start barreling down that short runway. Avoid taking off from a short runway with a tailwind if possible. Remember, a strong headwind will serve to decrease your takeoff run. At high density altitudes, lean the engine according to the POH for maximum power output. Apply full power smoothly and continuously check the tack and engine instruments, then remove brakes. And as in all takeoffs, correct for any crosswind component with proper aileron and rudder inputs. As your takeoff run begins, call out airspeed alive, anticipate your target rotation speed, and then rotate at that indicated airspeed. Don't yank the airplane off the runway or take off prematurely. This will adversely affect your takeoff roll and climb out. Once airborne, the airplane has lost the resistance and friction when the wheels were on the runway, and you'll generally have to pitch up even more to get that optimum short field climb out airspeed. Keep in mind, at this high angle of attack with full power and low airspeed, the left turning tendencies referred to as torque will be in full effect. So kick in as much right rudder as you need to keep that plane coordinated. It'll climb better when the ball is centered. Crab into the crosswind after takeoff. Don't slip like you do on landing. Remember, the goal in our takeoff is to get maximum climb efficiency from the plane. Once you've cleared the obstacle, announce that fact and begin to pitch toward VY airspeed. Clean up the plane, retract the flaps one notch at a time while you've got positive rate of climb. All right, let's go out and practice a couple short field takeoffs and assess the skylight. So here we go with our short field takeoff. We've done our run up. We're going to take the runway, make that radio call. Well, Brook traffic, Skyline 53 Golf, taking runway 18, taking off. We want to use the full runway. We don't want to leave any good runway behind us. We've got the airplane configured according to the POH in this plane. It's 20 degrees of flaps. And we're going to get out here and hold the brakes and give it full power. That's not so much because we're going to accelerate any faster. It's because we want to make sure all our engine instruments, everything looks good before we release the brakes and take off. We're going to rotate at 45 and climb out at 60. Here comes full power. Everything's top of the arc, looks good. Release the brakes, there's the wind sock and there is no wind today. Everything still looks good, engine instruments, air speed's alive. There's 40. There we go, we're off and we're climbing at 60. Look at that deck angle. I can't see anything over the nose, we're aimed at the stars right now. We gotta climb over that mythical 50-foot obstacle, which we've more than cleared. We can lower the nose, let the plane begin to accelerate. Past VX, approaching VY. We have a positive rate of climb. We can milk the flaps out one notch. Positive rate of climb continues. Engine instruments still look good. Retract the flaps and climb out at 84, which is VY, and that's your short field takeoff. You can practice short field takeoffs from longer runways. Just mark the position that you're able to take off and also when you reach that mythical 50 foot or 100 foot obstacle and try to improve your performance with each takeoff. When you really get it dialed in, either by yourself or with an instructor, try it for real on a short field runway in your area. Have fun, fly safely, and I'll see you again next month for another Fly the Wing 5 Minute Flight Maneuver video. 